Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest iOS 5.1.1 firmware. Now before we begin, there are a couple things I do want to go over. First of all, this jailbreak is compatible with most but not all devices. So what this does support is the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1. This does not support the iPad 2 or 3, and it does not support the iPhone 4S. In addition, this is a tethered jailbreak. Now what that means is that every time you need to reboot your device, you will need to plug it back into your computer and rerun Red Snow for it to be able to boot. Alright, so before we begin, we're going to need a couple of things. First of all is our device itself. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using an iPod Touch 4th generation. However, it works the exact same way with all the devices that I mentioned before. Now you should have it plugged in via USB to your computer. And on top of that, you should also have it backed up. So you should not lose any data in the jailbreak, however it's always a possibility, so it's best to be safe than sorry, so back it up through iCloud, or go ahead and just back it up through iTunes, it doesn't really matter, but just make sure that your data is safe and secure. You'll also need an iOS 5.1 IPSW for your device. Now even though we are jailbreaking on 5.1.1, you still need the iOS 5.1 IPSW. Now you may already have this on your computer, but otherwise you will need to download it. Now I'll have a link in the description which will show you how to find it or download it, whichever you need to do. Uh, beyond that, we're also going to need Red Snow. Now, Red Snow is the jailbreaking program we're going to use. If you guys have ever jailbroken before, more than likely you've used Red Snow. And this is available for both Windows and Mac, and it works the exact same way on both. Now you need to open up Red Snow. On the bottom here, you should see your device is connected. If it's not showing up, be sure that it is properly plugged in. Now what we need to do is click on Extras and select IPSW. Now select that 5.1. Again, not 5.1.1, but 5.1. Go ahead and open it. It will successfully identify the build. We can go ahead and continue with the jailbreak. So go ahead and back out and hit on the jailbreak tab. It will take just a moment to prepare the jailbreak data and we're going to be good to go. Depending on your device, you may have a couple of different options here. However, the most important thing is to make sure that install city is checked. Now, as far as installing custom bundle goes, if you don't know what that is, feel free to skip it. And as if you have an iPod touch, enabling battery percentage is very helpful. So once you've got that done, go ahead and click next. And now we need to put our device into DFU mode. Alright, so at this point we need to shut our device off. Before we do that, again, be sure that your device is plugged in via USB. And all you need to do is hold the top right button until you get the slide to power off. So, once you do that, go ahead and slide it. You'll see that pinwheel. Be sure to wait until the pinwheel is totally off before proceeding. Entering DFU mode is simple. All you need to do is go ahead and come over to the next tab, and then hold the power button for 3 seconds. Now hold the power in the home for 10. And of course, Red Snow will count you down, but I'm right here to show you the way. So three, two, one. Release the power button and continue holding the home button for roughly 30 seconds or so. Uh, so as soon as you see that Red Snow will give it up, so it should be just another second or two. At this point, you're good to go. Simply give Red Snow a few minutes to go ahead and process all the data on your device so you will see some lines of code and all that kind of stuff. But don't worry, just give it a few minutes and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. All right, so once it's done, go ahead and slide to unlock and then go over to your last page. You should now see Cydia. However, if you open it up, it's not going to do anything and it's got a white icon. So let's go back to Red Snow and finish up the last step. With Red Snow open, come over to Extras and then click on Just Boot. Now you're going to need to put your device into DFU mode just like we did before and you're going to need to do this every single time your device is totally shut off. Once our device is rebooted, we should see the slide to unlock. So go ahead and do that and slide over to your second page and you should see that Cydia looks normal again. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. It's going to ask who we are. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter, but I usually just put developer in. And then it's going to go ahead and load up for the first time. Congratulations, you're now jailbroken. If you had any issues, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to try to help you out. And if you enjoyed this video and it worked for you, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Anyway, guys, it's going to be about it. If you want to see more jailbreak tutorials like this, anytime a new firmware or device or anything like that comes out, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel.